still a very active scene out here tonight, but just take a look behind me as police continue to investigate just another deadly officer involved shooting. Chief James Craig says this is a tragic situation, and he says that tonight his officers did the right thing. Detroit Police Chief James Craig at yet another officer involved shooting in the city, this time describing what happened when his officers came upon a man swinging a sword at the intersection of Myers and Grand River. They got out of their vehicle as soon as our officers exited uh, their very their marked police vehicle. The suspect began to run in their direction, swinging the sword. Chief Craig says his officers initially deployed a taser. The chief says the suspect was wearing some type of what he described as hockey equipment, so the taser didn't work. Chief Craig says the man had three weapons, a sword and two daggers. Chief Craig says one of the daggers was thrown at his officer, cutting him just below the eye. The officers continually said drop the weapon. Uh, at some point, the partner officer uh, deployed one round from his service revolver, striking the uh, suspect. Chief Craig says the suspect continued and then tried getting inside the police vehicle. Chief Craig says a good Samaritan saw what was going on and jumped into action. As he saw uh, the suspect inside the driver's side of the vehicle, he took his personal vehicle and he used it to block this suspect in. Uh, so that he couldn't get out and get to the officers. This is the fourth officer involved shooting in the last three weeks. Chief Craig says his officers are coming under violent attacks. Could be the anti-police rhetoric that's permeating our country. Uh, the fact that there, there's bail reform and, and some individual being released. Chief Craig says his officers tried to defuse the situation, but things escalated very quickly. Also tonight, Chief Craig telling us that he is super happy for that Good Samaritan who quickly jumped into action to help out those officers. But as you can see behind me, this is still a very active scene here tonight as the investigation continues. Reporting live on Detroit's West Side, I'm Alan Campbell, 7 Action News.